I'd like to take note for the woman at 1414. Um, your husband is a cheater, a liar, and a psychopath. I'm not sure why you keep trying to go back to this. I know you left because you don't want to be around this situation. Um, but uh, he was with a woman, not just a couple nights after you left. Uh, she came and picked him up, and he was trying to slouch down in the front seat, but she saw me walking my cat and thought that was interesting. Uh, signaled me right away that she didn't know anything about my situation. Um, so that's so you know. Like, he's a complete psychopath. He did get off on watching a woman who is being spied on by people who rape and murder women. And that's sadistic. And that's a sexual sadist. And you should have a clear understanding of who you're married to. And also know that you can go to the FBI at any time. Because you should, you should divorce him and take your kids away from that. And keep them away from someone like that. Because you don't want to raise your kids to be like that. And to bring more men into this world that are going to be abusive towards women. And because that's what this is. If I was a man, this wouldn't be happening to me. And yeah, it's a bunch of men who like to rape and murder women. Oh, and deal lots of drugs. Oh, and also a note to him that you can share with him since you're still conversing with him and letting him know that I posted a video of him and his house lights on and blah, blah, blah is that he should understand that these guys are talking shit behind his back. Like, he's Muslim, right? Um, yeah, these kind of guys, they don't care. And, tell, and he can tell his sister-in-law that, quote, this is what the uh, syndicate said to the Native Americans who came to try to help them with their sovereignty, was, get the fuck off my land, Pocahontas. I heard that firsthand, so... You guys are idiots. You are. You're pure fools. Like, you have no idea who you're dealing with. You have no idea why this is happening. You're being played. You're being used. You're being put on the front line for what? Like, what? what's the benefit to you? You're taking all the risk. And they're sitting back and laughing at you. Laughing at the fact that your marriage is in peril because of this. And these guys think they got him on a hook. I mean, what kind of desperate loser? I mean, these guys are all freaking super loser guys. Like, in all honesty, if you're not a man and you can't stand on your own and you need a bunch of other guys to stand with you, it's just pathetic. And those guys and that camaraderie that he has with these guys means more to him than you do. Get that. Truly understand that. Like, this is who... I understand. It's hard. But you need to really face the facts. 